What's up everyone? This is Josh Krieger, co-host of Edge of NFT here live at LA Blockchain Summit with another Los Angelino, Scott. How you hey, doing, man? Good up, to man? see you. Great to be here. So um, we were just reflecting on, on your journey the last year and a half. I know it's been really busy. Um, we're in the same city um, and we, we didn't know each other, um, yeah. but now we do. I, I'd love to sort of tell the world uh, a little bit about this uh, amazing company, Space and Time, that you co-founded. Yeah, as would I. So Space and Time is a decentralized data warehouse, which basically just means uh, it's a data warehouse that's owned and operated by the community, built to onboard a lot of data to smart contracts on every major chain. I got it. So, so why does that matter? Yeah, I think right now smart contracts sort of feel like 1980s COBOL mainframes, right? There's enough power, enough juice to power like a bank, but not to power like mature social networks, uh, industries like telecom, energy, uh, and, and we need smart contracts to access much larger volumes of data off chain. Like, so if you're building new financial derivatives, like financial instruments on chain, you can't really do that today in a smart contract. Mm-hmm. There's not enough data, not enough compute power, and space and time fixes that problem. And, and how exactly does it do that? Yeah, so a decentralized data warehouse that can store petabytes of data, not gigs, not terabytes, petabytes of data. How much data is that? I'm trying to get the visual. <laughs> like your laptop is like a terabyte, right? Okay. So a thousand laptops. Okay. A thousand cool. laptops. Got it. Times, you know. A thousand like, new MacBooks. Yeah, laptops. a thousand new MacBooks. So all imagine right. all that data and then prepping it and getting it ready to actually be connected to smart contracts. So your smart contract for your NFT project can ask the question, show me all users who purchased two of our NFTs and we'll give them an additional reward on chain. Without space and time, your smart contract can't do, do something that simple. You're trapped in space and time without yeah, space and time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Like, your um, smart contracts can't ask questions, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so what are the sort of conversations you're having within the industry, mm-hmm. some of the partnerships that, that you guys are cooking up where this is very relevant? Yeah, absolutely. We've got partnerships with Chainlink, Microsoft, and Avalanche, or sorry, Chainlink, Microsoft, and NVIDIA on the kind of the, the, the global scale compute, a, a compute network at global scale. And in partnerships with uh, Avalanche, Polygon, and Mistin Labs, the Sweet blockchain, on connecting to smart contracts and oh, wow. being, being the query engine for those blockchains. Wow, these are these are big partnerships. Yeah. Um, so I guess what's what's next? Yeah, I mean, right. Those are the those are the uh, the L ones and the, the the infrastructure providers that we're partnered with. Now it's about onboarding a bunch of users, right? Cool pro- NFT projects that are building new NFT exchanges, new NFT use cases. Like here at LA Blockchain Summit, I've been so impressed by the number of, of different NFT use cases I never would have even imagined. Like, Can you give us an example of like some of the use cases where mm-hmm. your solution is relevant just so people can understand yeah. why they should like reach out to you guys? Let's talk about like a, a AAA blockchain game, like a well-funded, awesome first-person shooter, for example. I, you know, win the game or I get a lot of, you know, points in the game and maybe I want to upgrade my gun. Well, that gun might be an NFT on chain and there's data associated with that gun. How many points did it get? How many games did you win? That data today isn't really on chain. It's usually mm-hmm. off chain like IPFS or something like that. It could be in space and time and we can manage that in a, in a cryptographically guaranteed trustless way, in a way that is, feels like a smart contract. Very cool. And, and you guys have like an alpha launch coming up. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty soon, about a month, we're bringing on our first set of, of, of protocols, users, and we're really excited to, to kind of early release of space and time. It's going to be a blast. Cool. So right now you're looking for collaborators, but also developers, right, mm-hmm. that, that want to build using your technology mm-hmm. stack. So uh, how can people sort of learn more, yeah. get in touch, um, plug into the ecosystem you're building? So spaceandtime.io is our website. It's a, we're, and we're about to launch a whole new kind of version of our website that's much more detailed. We just launched our documentation and we're really excited. We also have info at spaceandtime.io if you want to email us and get to know more. And of course, Twitter at spaceandtimedb. We're pretty active in the DMs and we get a lot of DMs every day of, of people like, hey, heard what you're building. We want to build on a familiar database. We want to build on what feels like a SQL solution and we want to connect all of our data to smart contracts. We'd love to, ch- we'd love to chat. Sounds exciting, man. Um, definitely going to look more into space and time and uh, hope to see you around L.A. more often now that we connected. Hell yeah. Looking forward to it.